In this video, we want to solve for x given that x plus the fifth truth of 33 minus x raised to the power 5 is equal to 3. This is an exponential equation and to begin, we we'll need to make a little adjustment here. I'm going to say let all of this be y. That is y is equal to the fifth root of 33 minus x raised to the power 5. So with this substitution, I can now find the fifth power of both sides of this new equation. So that y raised to the power 5 is equal to, this takes care of this. So I have 33 minus x raised to the power 5 here. This can also be rearranged to give me x raised to the power 5 plus y raised to the power 5 is equal to 33. Now also because I made a substitution for all of this, it means that this equation now becomes x plus y is equal to 3. So let's call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. So equation 1 is x plus y equal to 3. I'm going to find x plus y raised to power 3. Here, if you already know the identity, of x plus y raised to the power 3, you can just write it out and then equate it to 3 raised to the power 3, which is 27. If you don't know how to expand binomial um, terms like this, you can watch the video showing in the top right corner right now on binomial expansion using Pascal triangle. So if you already know how to do that, this is going to give you x raised to the power 3 plus 3 x squared y plus 3xy squared then plus y raised to power 3 this is equal to 27 now it means that x raised to power 3 plus y raised to power 3 can be expressed as 27 minus 3x squared y minus 3xy squared. We can make some adjustment here. x raised to the power 3 plus y raised to the power 3. Let me bring this closer. Is equal to 27 minus 3 is common here, so I have 3, and then xy is also common, into, so I'll be left with x plus y. Now we already know that x plus y is 3 here, so I can make substitution here directly, so that we now have x raised to power 3 plus y raised to power 3, is equal to 27 minus 3xy into 3. Let's open up this bracket. x raised to the power 3 plus y raised to the power 3 is equal to 27 minus 9xy. So that is that for x plus y raised to the power 3. We are going to make this make use of this very shortly. So the same way we have done for x raised to power 3, we need to do for x raised to power 5. To do for x raised to power 5, x plus y raised to power 5 rather, I'm going to begin with x plus y raised to power 5 on the left hand side. and. I'm still going to use Pascal triangle to expand this. Like I said, if you are not familiar with the Pascal triangle, kindly watch this video 
on the top right corner. Right now, I'll search through my channel for Pascal Triangle. So let's open up this bracket. We are going to have x raised to power 5 plus 5x raised to power 4 y plus 10 x raised to power 3 y squared plus 10 x squared y raised to power 3 plus 5 x y raised to power 4 and then finally plus y raised to power 5 okay so this is x raised to power 5 this is y raised to power 5 i can bring them together to give me x raised to power 5 plus y raised to power 5 then if you look through every other term you see that they all have x y x y in them so i'm going to bring that out and also 5 is also common so I'm going to have 5xy outside of a new bracket. Here I'll be left with x raised to power 3. Then plus 2x squared y plus 2xy squared plus y raised to power 3. Then I'll close the bracket. Remember, I've taken this y raised to power four, y raised to power five down here. Now I'm going to make some substitution. Here we already have x raised to power five plus y raised to power five as thirty three. So I'm going to solve thirty three for that. So here is thirty three plus. Before I continue this part, also x plus y is also 3. So I'm going to make a substitution for that as well. So I have 3 raised to power 5. Then I'll continue as usual. So I have 5 xy into brackets. Now I have x raised to power 3 here, this is x raised to power 3, this is y raised to power 3, I'm going to bring them closer so that I have x raised to power 3 plus y raised to power 3 and also I'm going to make another factorization here, this is 2 is common here and xy is also still common then I'll be left with x plus y in the bracket and I'll close the entire bracket so let's open up this 3 raised to the power 5 is 243 this is 243 is equal to 33 plus 5xy into now remember we we solved for x raised to the power 3 y raised to the power 3 earlier which is right here and with that we can substitute this value for x raised to power 3 y raised to power 3 so this will give us 27 minus 9xy then plus 2xy into x plus y remember x plus y is 3 so i'm going to solve 3 for that as well so i'll put 3 inside here in place of x plus y and i'll close my bracket so let's see if we can tidy this up a bit if i remove 33 from both sides subtract 33 from both sides this will no longer be 243 Rather, it will now be 210. So this is 210 is equal to 5xy into bracket 27 minus 
this will be 9xy plus 6xy and I'll close my brackets so this is 210 is equal to 5xy then 27 minus 9xy plus 6xy will give me minus 3xy before I open up this bracket I can see that 5 goes here one time while 5 goes here 42 times So this is equal to 27xy minus 3xy squared. I can still go ahead and divide through by 3. Divide through by 3. So that this takes care of this. I'm left with 9 here. And 3 in 42 is 14. So I'm left with 14 is equal to 9xy minus xy squared. I can rearrange this to give me xy squared minus 9xy plus 14 is equal to 0. This is looking like a quadratic equation. I just need to make another substitution for xy to be able to solve this quadratically. So I'm going to use the variable p so I'll say let P represent XY, which implies that I now have P squared minus 9P plus 14 is equal to zero. So let's look if this is factorizable. This is 14, 2 times 7. Of course, this is factorizable. I have p squared minus 7p minus 2p plus 14 is equal to 0. So I have p into p minus 7 minus 2 into p minus 7 is equal to 0. This means that P minus 2 into P minus 7 is equal to 0. So either P minus 2 is equal to 0 or P minus 7 is equal to 0. And with that, we see that P is either 2 or P is equal to 7. What I mean with this substitution here is that either xy is equal to 2 or xy is equal to 7. What we then need is to solve this new equation alongside equation, equation 1, which is x plus y is equal to 3. So we write that as x plus y is equal to 3 and xy is equal to 2. That's the first case. And then the second case, x plus y is equal to 3 and then xy is equal to 7. So let's solve these two simultaneous equations from equation 1. x 
is equal to 3 minus y. If we substitute that into this new equation here, we are going to have 3 minus y into y is equal to 2. So 3y minus y squared is equal to 2. This means that y squared, if I rearrange this, y squared minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. This is also factorizable. So I have y squared minus 2y minus y plus 2 is equal to 0. I have y into y minus 2 minus 1 into y minus 2 is equal to 0. So y minus 1, y minus 2 is equal to 0. And what this means is that y minus 1 is either, either y minus 1 is equal to 0 or y minus 2 is equal to 0 and that implies that y is equal to 1 or y is equal to 2. So if we've already gotten the value of y, we can now get the corresponding values for x. When y is 1, let's put that into this equation here. That means when y is 1, x is going to be 3 minus 1, which is 2. And when y is 2, x is going to be 3 minus 2, x is going to be 1. So that was the first solution from the first scenario. Now let's consider this second scenario. In the second scenario, x plus y is 3 and xy is equal to 7. We confirmed that here x is equal to 3 minus y. So this means that 3 minus y into y is equal to 7. Let's open up this bracket. So this implies that we have 3y minus y squared is equal to 7. If we rearrange this, y squared minus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0. Now, can we factorize this? There are no factors of 2 of 7 that will sum up to negative 3. So we need to use the general quadratic formula. But before we do that, for us to be able to get real solution of this quadratic equation, the discriminant must be greater than zero. And the discriminant is given by b squared. So we said this must be greater than 4ac, where a, b, c are the coefficients of the expressions on the left hand side. This is our a, which is one. This is our b, which is negative 3, and this is our c, which is 7. So if we put that into this discriminant, we get b squared, which is negative 3 squared, greater than 4 into 1 
into 7. This is 9 greater than 4 times 7 is 28. Because this is not true, 9 is not greater than 28, it means that we cannot obtain a real solution from this quadratic equation. So we reject whatever solution is coming from here and proceed with what we have gotten from the first scenario. And the values are when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, and when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so, and I will see you in my next video.